G'day all. Uh, the other day I saw someone on the forum was having some problems refilling the um, either the Bix gas canister, refillable gas canister, or uh, one made by somebody else, one of the other manufacturers that uh, produce these for uh, steam engines. What I've done, and excuse my hands, um, I was at the skin specialist on Friday and uh, he went to town on me burning off some sunspots so yeah excuse the look of my hands but uh, I can't help that anyway so what I've done I uh, made this little brass thing on the lathe just uh, countersunk the top there that fits on really nicely on that brass part there that depresses down so pushes on depresses down the gas flows down there and refills this. What I did on this end was um, th these are the uh, I think they're ubiquitous. I think they're worldwide, pretty much the same. But this is what's available in Australia. They're um, just a disposable can. They go in uh, little camp stoves and things like that. But anyway, I put a small bit of a thread on here, so. When I push that on there, I can just give that a little bit of a turn and that locks on. But there's no thread on here. It's just a smooth end there on that part that gets depressed into the can that releases the gas. So it's just simple. Press it on and it just locks on. So there it is. That's the gas out. Now, when I put it on here, it's not a perfect fit. But uh, even, even the ones that I've... Uh, paid money for and imported in from the UK they still aren't a perfect fit and I've always had a bit of gas leakage but uh, look I'll just turn this on at the moment that's on no gas you can't it's empty there's no gas coming out turn that back off I'll put this on you can see that just a little tiny bit of a leak around the outside Okay, so that was about five seconds. Turn that on now, and you can hear the gas coming out. So naturally, I'd hold that down all the way until that was completely overflowing. You can tell when the can's full because uh, you get a lot more overflow. Okay, so I hope that's uh, some help to anybody out there. Somebody might benefit from it. So it's just a bit of brass tube, small drill through it, and uh, onto that disposable can, straight down, and no problem. You don't have to hold that on there, so you're not doing two actions, you're not holding that at the same time. It fits on there no leaks come through so um, you just need to get somebody to make that up on their lathe for you if you don't have a lathe and just get them to measure that so it fits nice and tight whether that's the same in every country I don't know but um, it, it's a, it's simple it's a 10 minute job and you can get that done and Bob's your uncle alright guys as always thanks for watching hope that helps somebody be safe with COVID and bye for now.